that would be the Cessna 206, the jump aircraft. You'll see a lot of these aircraft all around airports around Australia. The Cessna is a uh, very popular aircraft. Tiger Moths in the, in the country are actually operated by the RAAF Heritage Flight. 100 squadron. They've just been waved off. Here they go. Time noted. Tails up. Note the skid. Many Tiger Moths still have their uh, original, they have been replaced with their tailwind. They have a skid on the back. Great on grass, not so good on carbon. Power's on, off they go. Okay, that's uh, Gary Hearn today of flying that aircraft. We'll be seeing some more of him later. We can come back to do our handling this way. The front cockpit are uh, there to help out with uh, taking notes and monitoring. Here we go, he's under start his orders and away he goes. Well, the uh, tail certainly came up quite quickly on that yellow one. Uh, here we go, he's away. <laughs> 200. And uh, the drive sucks for a little. as some would call it. And as you can see, it's really going well. And it's painted as A20-176. Here's Glenn bringing it in for a landing.
nice landing. So interestingly, that aircraft was one of the last to depart, but has come back in first. Now folks, once the last Tiger Moth is taken down on the ground, we've got a Cessna camera plane is going to be uh, landing, and we're also going to have to fire up the Wolf Pits Pro. I just want to uh, say a big thanks to air shows like this, not just for volunteers, whom I was thanking earlier today, but another significant component of these air shows are, of course, the sponsors. And we've got the Air Marshal Sponsor Level. These are the folks who give it more than anyone else.
Mark Kerritz is responsible for the timing, positioning and sequence of events. Mark is a Victorian, having grown up in Vermont South. He flew C-130 Hercules prior to his time as instructor on the PC-9 and now PC-21. He has over 3,500 hours of military flying and this is his sixth season with the Roulettes. Whilst you see these PC-21s today here in this impressive display, come Monday they'll be back in the air for pilot training at RAF Base East Sail. The PC-21 is the primary training aircraft for trainee pilots. It's quite impressive to think that someone that has never flown before could step into a PC-21 for their first ever flight. have joined forces for the Mirror, a move made famous in the movie Top Gun. Flying at just 500 feet, there will only be three metres separation between the two aircraft. Today he will display the solo performance characteristics of the PC-21 through a vertical roll and maximum performance turn.
uh, he's taking off at the moment, and then we're going to have the heritage formation go once they've got their temperatures and pressures in the green, and at which point the Trojan will come back to display. Vietnamese Air Force and Royal Lao Air Force. Here we go, let's have a listen. Interesting, uh, trying to tether, let alone fly. That's why we fly balloons in the early morning or late afternoon. Most stable conditions. Looking to the left, let's have a look at Paul Bennett bringing the T28 Trojan in. You can see the speed brake down, hanging below the belly, helping to slow the aircraft to get more control over the landing speed. So just imagine you've never flown an aircraft before. Uh, and so they're trying to cross the agencies, whether it's Forest Fire Management, Surf uh, and they coordinate, and, and obviously the, the more experienced they get, the more they know about the aircraft flights. And we're just playing our aircraft. aircraft in the state. That doesn't include the, the, uh, the RJ-85 and the Q400. So the Canadian pilot I know was actually out here on the RJ. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So he's, he's just gone back home, but he said he'll be back out in September, so I'm hoping to catch up with him. Now, as Steve goes fast, you think about him sitting at a five on the day. or CFA or FRV have been alerted by the major or a phone call and they're heading to that fire. And Steve's loaded and off he goes. Branches. I'll just pause here for a minute because he's inbound for the drop. You'll hear the siren and then he'll open the doors. So um, Steve would do that drop like he's just done and that he strung that out. We'd have the second aircraft in the circuit with him. He'd see where he dropped. And then we'd sort of the way they can operate. He's just coming back in now to have a bit of a look and simulate what it might be if he's doing a uh, doing some ag work. But it's a very impressive aeroplane, very agile, and these guys really know how to handle. Oh yeah, 1700 a little bit of dust swell on the uh, uh, this big back on the deck just with a tail hook and occasionally a rigged barrier. on 
Terra Firma. Now, if you watch closely, you'll see the rudder.